Hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to use this Visual Studio to actually uh, import Excel and uh, later export it to the database. Okay. Right. Connection string. It depends what database you want to export to. So, give an example. I'm using SQL Express. Okay. And this is the sheet name of the Excel spreadsheet that you want to import. You can change it during the runtime. Okay. This button will connect this connection string to a database. Okay. Import button will click and open a open dialog for you to actually select the books. I mean the Excel spreadsheet. Okay. Go will actually export to the database. Let's see how it works. And later I will show you the source codes. Alright. Say I import book one. Three columns here. Okay. I name it column one, column two, column three in my books. Okay. So I connect to this database, right? So I call this sheet one. Okay. Actually, it should show once, but it will show all the rows that is inserted just to show you. Okay. Demo table one. I import into this table. Right. See the data. Okay. Right now, we will try to change and we will put into this table for another books of five columns. Book 2, which have 5 columns. See that? Okay, these codes that are written, regardless how many columns of the books you have, so long, okay, the data types is correct and the columns are, are correct, it will just go in without error. Oh, I forgotten to change the table table name, that's why. Okay. Let's do it. See, that's why you hit error. Demo table 1 got only 3 columns, where we are trying to actually uh, put in 5 columns data. Wait, sorry. 2. course if you are trying to put a text into this column you will hit an error as well okay let me show you the codes so I will not show you the connection string all this okay let's look at the import okay basically it's quite simple okay you show a file dialog for selection of the books okay for Excel so using this data string, okay, OLEDB to open the Excel. It's pretty straightforward. And then you bind it to a data set and display it. That's all. Very simple, straightforward. Okay, we look at this. Okay, I'll open the database. Okay. I'll declare an integer. Okay. I'll create a array list. And then we name it, we calculate the row counts of the data that we imported. Okay. And we also calculate the columns. Okay, in all this, just to refresh the screen. So, do what x is smaller than total, total rows actually. So it will actually uh, insert all the data at the end of the rows. Okay. Within this loop, 
okay we are trying to count the column so in each of the column we have in the excel okay you we'll put the string inside this so-called data list which is the array list okay we keep the data here and later when you want to insert we pass over this data list so let's see how it works so under this declaration here we we'll actually add in a trick and then name it one two three four five six until the end of columns okay say eight columns will be one two three four five six seven eight okay so here the sql command insert into them two values and then here you would all declare here okay the variables so for this the variable as, uh, as string okay we'll put in the eight variables here and then we'll put in all the eight values here using the array list okay so when you execute you just look okay for those who don't really understand you can download the project file from my website my website link can be found at my channel thank you